Lamar Villery, in your Villery equity fund, you own LKQ Corp. Now, this is an auto parts maker. It got hit with a vicious downgrade earlier this year. There's also worries about a Chrysler lawsuit. So why do you like the stock? We love the stock and we've loved it for a long time. We think it's a best in class company, great management team, great opportunity. But frankly, it was too expensive. We, we, we weren't willing to pay what the, uh, the, the price was for the stock. We got lucky in that the Chrysler lawsuit, which by the way, impacts less than one tenth of 1% of their revenues, but that gave us a great time to buy in. All right, you're also a fan of BE Aerospace. This is ticker BEAV. They make the interiors to jets. They were a little bit light with their guidance, and they also missed by a penny, I think, in their first quarter earnings report. So uh, are they sandbagging the wall in Wall Street? Is that why you want to buy the stock? You know, we're not even concerned about what's going to happen last quarter. We're not concerned about one year from now. We're long-term investors, and we're looking at the long-term story for BE Aerospace. And the long-term uh, outlook is great. Between now and 2017, they're going to double their earnings. They're moving into new verticals. The company's got $600 million in cash on their balance sheet. We think it's a great place to be. And then finally, you're a fan of Howard Hughes Corp. Now, this is a real estate play. Don't pay a dividend. Stock's up 70% over the past year. So why do you want to stick with it? The, the, the growth outlook is terrific. And the reason we like the fact that they don't pay a dividend is because of that growth outlook. They've got great places to invest. They're investing down the street from our office in New Orleans in the Riverwalk. But bigger projects are the Woodlands in Houston, where there's 10, they're, they're developing 10 million square feet of mixed-use space. They just leased out a building and a half to Exxon. It's right next door to Exxon's world headquarters. You know, we've got the South Street Seaport just down the street from here. They're put, developing a million square feet of mixed use. This is a, an area where 10, 15 years ago, a friend of mine lived above a bar that had their, sep, their happy hour at 7 a.m. where you could get a $2 pint of beer for the people come, getting off work at the fish market. So there's great opportunities. The last thing we'd want them to do is give money back to the shareholders with all this growth. All right, we're going to watch it. Thanks a lot, Lamar. Thank you. Thank you for watching The Street.